Alright, test zero one. Which deactivates all this. Um, okay. Can I portable? I can portal bump here. So you easily fix that by removing the portable surfaces. Then I have two more cubes. Or, sorry, a cube in a sphere. Alright, I could step on this. Or, I don't even need to do that. I can just shoot a portal there and go through. Okay, and I have a button here. It activates a panel somewhere, but um, I don't really need that panel, I don't think, because I could just jump through here like that. start make, moving all these pistons so what's my goal right now where am I trying to get to somewhere up here all right well oops, okay here's what I can do I can place a portal all the way up there at the top then I can just jump like this. Actually, I don't have enough momentum. All right, what is, so it's six block units, one, two, three, four, five, six, right here. So um, it's not that much of a shortcut, but because this test is so tall, actually I'm gonna hit my head there. I know you're new to like um, puzzles. I think you said it's like your first one. Um, usually when you have like a lift thing like this, it's it's not all that good. And of course, I need to bring a cube up here, which I didn't know. All right, let me try something like this. There we go. What do I need a light bridge for? I guess we'd come over there. Like that. I think that's why I need a light bridge. I don't think there's any other way to cheese this. Maybe there is. Um, no, I don't think there's any way to cheese it. Okay, and that's the exit. Yeah, um, you see all, I did some parts unattended, so, um, hopefully that helps you, uh, design tests in the future, seeing how people can move around tests, so, okay. right, new chamber 02. These bridges are made from natural right, so I like this, I, I know what it needs for the surface. exit. I'm just gonna skip this voice line. Alright. Sure, no, there's no portable slots. Alright. Now, we'll just do this. Deactivate this flower field. This should open up this other fizzler. Okay, sorry, now it will open up the fizzler. I mean, there isn't really much of a need for that button, really. You can remove that button. And there we go. Alright, next room. Same thing. I guess it's just a theme of these tests. Alright. 
Um, I don't really know which one I want first. I don't know if it really matters. I see, okay. I just took it go on, just those. What does this do? Dots? Over here? I probably need the light bridge, yeah. I forget where the light bridge was. It's right here. No, I don't need the light bridge. So what's the point of the light bridge? Was the cube supposed to be like on the light bridge? I don't know. Oh no, that is, I don't know. I don't know what the kind of light bridge Oh wait! Never mind, I do know. Although it's kind of annoying how it's all the way over here. I don't think there's any way I can chase this. No. Alright. Well. Congratulations. I mean, Your it's like ability to complete this test proves the human. Having a bunch wrong. of small tests and all having the same theme. You know, you did that, so that's good. Um, I would say it's like it's not really a puzzle though. All those tests. It's kind of just pressing buttons. Alright, next one. Puzzles. Okay then. Um. Interesting. There is. I don't know if I need the laser anymore. Okay. Well, I can only guess what's going to happen here. I need three cubes for the exit. This turns on the funnel. My only guess is that this will reverse the funnel. Yeah. Alright, well, I guess I just have to redo everything I just did. Yeah, when you're designing tests, um, try to avoid uh, like repeating stuff, steps like this, because I'm just doing the same thing again. Usually don't want to do that. Uh, one I'll just skip these quick quicker all right just cross the gap these bridges are made from natural light that I pump in from the surface if you rub your cheek choice. on one it would be like standing outside with the sun oh my gosh on your face. It would also take I'm going too head. fast So I see this. bridges are made from um, natural light that I pump in from the surface. If okay. you rub your cheek on one, shut up, it would be like stack. Yeah, shut up. We do it. So uh, there's this barrier here. I don't see any way to turn it off, or and I don't see any way to get to the light bridge again. So this light bridge is basically done now. And this seems simple enough. Oh, you're using B mod 4.37. It looks like there'd be a way back to grab the cube, which is fine. That. Yep. Alright, and then some stuff from Portal 1. Yeah. 
I would create more room here. Um, I don't know if you can do that. No, I think you just have to make this hallway bigger. Or, I don't know, do something. So there's more room, so that's not as annoying. I mean, why? This funnel doesn't have much of a purpose. I guess I could just... Uh, okay, it's not that bad. Never mind. Although, I still have to go through here first. To press a button. Okay. I mean, that does have... You know, this button... It could have just connected to this, you know. Because, you know, that's, that's not a really a good step. Alright, now all of a sudden it's a gel test. I mean, I know I'm supposed to just put gel here like that, but... There we go. Then this is just walking around pressing buttons now. Am I going this way? So open up this door. I don't know why I need this open. Because the exit's open. I don't know if that's just a way to, I don't know, like a design thing. Or maybe, what is this? Maybe this ant line is just weird. I think that's just it. Okay, never mind. Um, I would say as a puzzle, it's okay. I mean, because it starts off as a light bridge test. And then, what was next? I think like a, like a basically like a companion cube test and there's a laser test and then it's like a funnel test and there's a gel test so it's all over the place Have if you had like one around, theme like it was like light bridge and funnel or something and there's like a bunch of different ways how you could use that again. and then I all those different rooms to be more of a puzzle but yeah all right So that cube just spawns right next to where it's supposed to go, so that's not really much of a puzzle. And I, I'm given momentum here, I don't have to work for it. This button is kind of weird. There's an ant line for it. Where does this ant line go? I guess it activates a second light bridge. Okay then. I mean, you could get rid of this second light bridge, you know, if there's, um, if you're just a little bit more creative with what you could do. And that'll help clean that puzzle up a bit. Alright, where am I launching to? There? Anything over here? Maybe? Okay. Wow, if I didn't bring this cube with me, I'd be kind of screwed. I have to do this all over again. Alright, that was simple enough. Yeah, more of like a, an adventure than an actual puzzle. Uh, 
I should just be skipping these elevator rides. Easy test. Is it actually going to be a test this time? Oh man, a lot of ant lines here. And a lot of portable surfaces, so that gives me a lot of... So I can you know, skip this, right? Grab this ball. Alright, well, I don't really need to do that. Um, I could just do the same thing again. Like this. Oh, if I made it. Or, I could even do something like this. Like that. Get up here. And there's no cube spawner here for the cube, so if I ever lose it, it's just gone forever. Uh, looks like I want to go to here next. So yeah, no point of the laser, because, you know, I see there's like a, a portable spot above the laser, but I don't, you know, I didn't land on top of the turret, so there's no point of it. Hopefully watching me, um, I actually know there is a point of the laser now. It's used for this. Although it doesn't have much of a use. So, um, I don't know anything. I feel like I played some of your tests before. Yeah, the private. I think I recognize your name, just from going through most recent. But I would say, you know, if you have something that is only used once, Try to find more uses for it. So you have these three cubes here that are all only used once. You have a laser here that's used once. Everything about this test could be skipped. So I mean, hopefully watching me play through your test helps you realize like how people can do certain things. So yeah. Alright, laser paradox. I guess that's, that's why. Okay. Well, what should I start with? Who's this dude? It's kind of hard to tell. This allows me to go back for whatever reason. So I can do this. I can do that. Square. Where is square? Is square back here? Yes. So yeah, this is when both lasers are useful. Alright, well. So yeah, let me let's place it here instead. Oh, there's a third cube. Okay, that makes it... <laughs> Alright, yeah, I was really confused on like how the hell I'm going to solve this, but there's a third cube. Okay. Um, let me line it up here. Okay, now I can actually solve this test. Back. I need to go all the way back over here now. So basically just redo everything. Okay. There we go. That's 
better. And I'm done. Alright, well. Not bad. I would say that standard cube doesn't have much of a purpose because it's only used once, right? I say that about a lot of tests. So if it's only being used once, it, it doesn't really have a purpose. Alright, next one. Next new chamber 01. This next test involves emancipation Hold drills. On. So yeah, B mod test. And I have four to one sound, so great. So I'll be I think I'll hear this for like the rest of the test. And I can portal bump here like that. I don't know. Square drop the cube somewhere, I'm not really sure where. Over here. Let me just get this closer to the edge. the door so it's all about getting cube in here yeah it's like it's so easy just a portal bump like this you usually see um like uh people who are actually really good at designing tests will avoid doing something like that all right let's go back to here kind of weird you know I know there's limits in B mod for like detail but that just looks kind of weird all right so I need a ball up here oops maybe try that there so I did that slightly unintended and then it's just a lot of running around Try to speed it up some. Yeah, okay. Because you have like all these different boxes everywhere, I guess, all these tiny rooms, it just takes a while to navigate around the test. Impressive. You know, you can design like the same test, but just in one room. a button that has no points. No cube dropper. So if I lose this cube, it's screwed. You know, I get soft blocked. And there's an easy way to do it. If I move this cube into this fizzler, right, there's no way of getting it back now. And I'm stuck. So that's a problem. Again with this, there's like um, there's no challenge to this, right? I'm just moving a portal and then moving these same two cubes to two other buttons to open the door. It's like you could remove this entire area and just have this as the next room. All right, blue gel, and I have to use it. Hold on, let me sorry, let me go back. So um, something you can do is lower this blue gel just so it doesn't go all the way up and it takes a while to come down. You can shorten the time just by lowering it. And again, there's no point of this room. Now all of a sudden it's a gel test. I guess it's all about pressing that button which drops the cube and then I have to go all the way. So I'm basically just going back and forth a lot. So let me get more gel first.
So something like this, where I'm just repeating the same steps. Like I press a button, which drops the cube. So I have to go all the way back. And then I do the same thing again. You can just remove that. You know, remove this button, remove the cube. Remove this button, this, this other button. I just have the exit open. Rudik test 2 Why? Oops. Is there any way to cheese this? I don't think I can reach it there. Maybe I can cheese it from here. This would be quite a jump though. It might be possible. Let me try it again. Hopefully I don't hit my ceiling. Um, I think I hit the ceiling. Hold on, let me try it one more time. I'll even do like a little pre-jump like this. No, I hit the ceiling. Alright, whatever. Then I have to use the orange shell. Yeah, same thing here. So, see how the orange gel just shoots up and it takes a while for it to come down? You can lower the orange gel um, emitter, dropper, whatever it's called. So it just, you know, it doesn't take so long to get gel everywhere. Oh my god. So, what did that, that open the stairs here? Yeah, I don't need to do that because it just shoot a portal here. Stand on this button. Um, okay, I, um... I don't really think there's much of a point for the orange gel. I'm being honest. Anyways, maybe I need orange gel for this part. Although, wait, I could have just jumped from here. I didn't see this, so I could do that to press the button. And yeah, so there's no point of orange gel in this test then. I don't know what this button does. signage for any of these buttons so I don't know what they do there's a second cube somewhere I'm guessing yeah there's no signage man I don't know what this does is that it yeah get some signage on that See, like that entire test could be done unintended. Alright, next one. Oop. Portal stunts 01. Alright, we're just gonna be walking around pressing buttons. That's for I mean how come this door just can't be permanently open when you press that button? in this room there's like no lighting and this one has a lot of lighting and you're kind of like lighting up the wrong areas I mean like why not find a way to reuse that cube instead of like dropping a new one reuse stuff make the if you reuse the elements more it just makes the test better All right. test 15 
see what the next test is. Oh, advanced aerial faith plates. Okay. There we go. And then this test is really big and it's dark. I could yeah, you could portal pump as well. You know, you could do something like this. Right? I probably need that cube. Yeah, that still didn't really do anything. I'm still not gonna take this um faith plate. I refuse. And that's it. All right. Well, that was something. Look at you. Alright, you, like you did disable the ant lines on the. Let me go back. You did disable the ant lines on the. What's it called? The trigger. So that's good. Uh, a lot of people just leave that there and it just looks weird. So, no, there's nothing behind the door. Um, yeah, I mean it's just like a bunch of random elements thrown together. Like so, it started off with a laser. And then, um, yeah, and then this is it. Not too much to the test. Alright, next one. Old and new. Welcome to the future. This next test applies right. the principles of momentum to So when you usually have portals, a... God, shut up, Gladys. When you usually have a cube that's like at the beginning like this, um, it's usually better just to have it pre-dropped or like auto dropped, I guess. Yeah. Oh my gosh! I do like the music though. The portal story smell. Oh, dang it, I didn't jump. My bad. Welcome. Oh, and I start all the way at the beginning now. Sorry. This next test applies did this the part. principles of momentum to movement Was through portals. Here? If the laws of physics there. no longer apply save it. in the future, God help you. You did an excellent right, job placing the edgeless safety cube in the receptacle. You should be. Oh, it still goes on. Oh wait. Yeah. So just have these like pre-dropped. It's just, just like a. I don't know what's it called quality of life thing. Oops. What am I doing? I always want to start with um, or blue gel or I got orange gel. Still did not work really. Why is this so hard to get there? And then this is the same as the first room or the second room. Maybe it was the first room. Congratulations. That's the test. This pre recorded congratulation Ooh. assumes you have mastered the principles of portal momentum. If you have, in fact, not. You are encouraged to take a moment I don't think I've ever seen this before. Failure before proceeding into the next chamber. How interesting. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Alright. Easy. Is it this like... Did I just play this test? Because it's, I recognize that profile name. I recognize that um, name. I think it uses like the same title. Alright, well... Yeah, it's this thing again. You don't need this at all. It doesn't add anything to the test. Oh, I could have just air straight that. Don't need 
this at all. And all of a sudden, it's a turret test. Get around the world. I'm like through. Oh my god. Alright, well, I didn't save it, and I'm not going to replay this test. I'll just skip ahead to where I was. Which was right here. Okay, here we go. Save it. that so it started off with a momentum test and all of a sudden it changed to a turret test we have like two different tests in oh god i'm losing my voice two different tests in here oh i've been talking too much <clears throat> all right all in one take simple chamber two Alright, now hopefully my audio isn't messed up because my microphone sometimes or usually has to be like a very specific spot. Alright. Oh, well, I can just do this. Oh, that doesn't help me yet. Oh, there's a cube down there. Okay, that helps. So I don't need any of these faith plates. I guess I could just, you know, portal across like that. Okay, although I probably don't want to do it there. Alright, and that's the test. So there's no point of those faith plates. Yeah, and I don't think there's a point of the um Yeah, I don't know. No point of that laser deal over either. Top out science 06. Oh, dang it. Portal 1. So now all my audio is going to be messed up. This next test dark. involves turrets. You very remember dark. them, right? They're the pale spherical things that are full of bullets. Oh, wait. That's you in five seconds. Good luck. Okay, pointless room, pointless hallway. There's a lot of pointless space in this test. Like, do I seriously have to go down this hallway? You could like design this test so there's no hallway. Oh dang it. This next test involves turrets. You remember them, right? They're the pale spherical things that are full of bullets. Oh wait. That's you in five seconds. Good luck. Come on, game. This next test involves turrets. You remember them, right? They're the pale spherical things that are full of bullets. Oh wait, that's you in five seconds. Yeah, you put everything in Good luck. poor spots. I can't like easily skip this. Save it here just in case. Great, fine. So what's the point of all of this? You know, it's uh, kind of pointless. Test. Weighted cubes calibrated. All right, so that was whatever that thing was. 
Uh, more portal stunts. Man, I feel like there's a lot of test this video. Oops. Come on. Alright, well, we'll just grab this cube. And then put it on a button. And that's all. Never gonna use that cube again. Spear goes on a button. Probably not gonna use that spear again. Is there a portable spot? No. You have cube droppers, pretty cubes, that's nice. And this is just on auto. Oh, okay, gotta be kind of fast to get it on the first cycle, otherwise, you just have to wait a long time for that to come back. So, this test it has a lot of walking, it's a bit of a walking simulator. So you can walk a lot, and you press a button to grab a cube, and then you walk some more, and then you press a button, grab a cube, and you walk some more. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Everything's like used once, all those cubes. You have like two cubes in a sphere. You design a test, so instead of having three of those, you just have one. And who knows, maybe it could be a little bit of a logic test as well if you do it, something like that. Okay. Oh, more portal stunts. Alright. Disintegrate. Are you serious? I gotta go all the way back now. Yeah, please stop that. That's annoying. There's still more cubes disintegrating. It's just annoying to listen to. Oops. And you know, I could just like stand in portals like that to press the button. I don't really need to use momentum there. And then just long dark hallway with a bunch of stairs that just go up. And have a really good design. This part is so hard. There. Please, what cube is disintegrating? It's super annoying just having to listen to that. Here. God. Door, hallways, long dark hallways that have a button at the end. Well, that was something. Yeah, it's, um, I don't know. Not that enjoyable to play. Because it's just so, like, that cube constantly disintegrating is annoying to listen to. And there's all these long, dark hallways. Like, you could design the test a little bit so that there's not so many of those dark hallways. All right. Jumps and lasers. God, okay. 
Okay. I don't know, do I even play this one? I hate white gel tests, they're not they're not fun. Alright, I just wait for this turret to deagro. Rush him. Hopefully, this is not on a timer. Okay. So, that. What did this do? Where does this lead to? Stairs all the way over there. Okay, I guess I'll come back to that. There's some more stuff over. Um, I think that's too steep for me to stand on. I'll just jump from here. Alright, I see how this did that really got rid of all the turrets? Wow. Alright, that makes stuff much or everything much more easier. Oh my god, it's so much walking. Speed this up some. the exit. Alright, well, it's well lit, at least. It's just a bunch of random stuff thrown together, though. It has that feel. I don't know. Not, not really a test. It's more just stuff. Oh, and that's it. Alright, well. Well, thanks for watching. If you uh, watch the entire video, you know, I'll, I'll be back next week.